on the fifth floor, I couldn't even see the wall. The smoke was so bad. Cynthia Condolitas is staying at a shelter on Federal Street set up by the Red Cross. I have nowhere to go. My spouse passed away, and that was that's the only place I have to go. But I came here, and I'm very, very thankful that the Red Cross has done as much as they have done for us. The Red Cross is housing as many people as it can. This afternoon, arrangements were made to open a second floor in the building. Many people are without medicine, and the Red Cross is helping with that, too. We have volunteer nurses that will help facilitate getting their, their medicines replenished, their eyeglasses, any medical need like that, they will work through the system to get them replenished. The Deputy Commissioner of Community Services at Baltimore Housing says the roof of the building is severely damaged, floors four through eight are in bad shape, and the power is off to the building. Reginald Scriber says people will be led into the building Tuesday to retrieve belongings, but if the building is condemned, the city will be challenged with finding homes for close to 200 people. These are all subsidized housing units, and we have contacted, HUD has been contacted. Uh, we're trying to see whether or not there's available units around the city, around the state that these people could be relocated to, and right now we're trying to explore that possibility. So right now, that shelter will remain open through Wednesday. Reporting live in East Baltimore, Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News. Lisa, thank you.